lazy and cheap filmmakers of the world, you read the title, you clicked on the link, all enticed by the prospect of more free stuff. So this video is just for you as I introduce our latest preset pack for Premiere Pro, the Slide and Swish Transition Pack. If you're new here, well, welcome to Ingaf. We're professional filmmakers that make videos about making videos for people that want to make videos to help you make better videos. And we do this by making those videos with the things that make videos to help you make better videos. And now that that's cleared up, let me give you two reasons to subscribe. Firstly, the title wasn't clickbait. There is a free transition pack. And number two, I make one of these roughly every week. So subscribe. So onto this week's freebie, the slide and swish transition pack. This is for Premiere Pro, so if you use something else to edit with, I can only apologize at my lack of editing omnipotence and plead for your enormous approval in the comments anyway. This pack of drag and drop stylized transitions, in truth, is super easy to use and will help you make the transitions that you're seeing in this example. So to get going, you will of course need to have downloaded the preset from our website. The link's in the description if you haven't. You need to give up your email address at checkout, but I promise I will only ever email you with tons of unsolicited Ingaf spam and pictures of Pete's face. Not really, but there is a super cool email newsletter that you really should already be a part of. Once downloaded, you'll be confronted with a zip folder of goodness. Head on over to Premiere Pro and in the effects bin, right click and import presets. With a dialog that opens, find your new download and bam, you've got yourself one imported preset pack. These effects will now sit forever in the preset section of your effects bin in Premiere Pro, and they will work simply by dragging and dropping onto the clips of your choice. But there are a few key points to follow to get the best out of this transition pack. Firstly, the transition effect should be placed on the second of your two clips you're transitioning in between. You want to make sure that your second clip overlaps your first as they'll then work together to create a visual effect. If you don't, your transition will still work, but it will happen over a black background frame. Finally, for the best effect, place a second cut on the overlapped clip, usually aiming at less than one second duration. Do this before you place the effect on this newly formed clip. As the presets are anchored to the clip's length, a shorter cut will mean a quicker transition and in this instance, that makes it look just a lot better. As I said before, these will all work without doing the overlapping and trimming, but this is just how to get the best visual effect out of this transition pack. So that's it. One free transition pack, no clickbait, no filler, no ridiculous camera backpack upsell, just more free stuff to help you make better videos. And if you'd like more of that, then why not consider subscribing or just saying hi in the comments. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.